Hi Dreamers, welcome back. I have June's BoxyCharm for you today. And as I've been doing for the last couple months, I have reviewed and tested all the products. So I'm not just gonna give you an unboxing today, I'm also going to be telling you how I liked the products. BoxyCharm is $21 a month. And so it's a little bit more on the expensive side of the subscription boxes, but you do get four to five full size or deluxe size samples. What they say is that you'll get four full size and one deluxe size, but I have found that sometimes I get five full size products. This box was a $118 value. So you definitely you get your bang for the buck if you like the products inside. <laughs> So I'm going to just get started. The theme this month is girls just want to have fun. And the card does have information about the products and prices on the back. I will still have a blog post, which I will link down below, that will have a little bit more information about all the products and where you can get them. So the first thing that is in here is by Pharmacy. And these are hydrating coconut gel masks, brightening, activated by antizyme rich purple broccoli extract. It does say that this is made exclusively for BoxyCharm and not for resale. So in that blog post down below, if I can find a place where you can buy these outside of BoxyCharm, I will link that or other masks that they might have. So it says that this, this is a three pack, it is a full size, and it is $24. There are three masks in here, and it's quite a nice little package that it comes in. And each mask is, of course, in its own little package. What was interesting about this mask is it, the sheet mask is actually between two sheets of protective mesh, which made this so much easier to apply. If you've been watching my channel for any time at all, you know that when it comes to sheet masks, <laughs> half the time I just wanna give up because they're so hard to get on. I'm not a huge, gigantic sheet mask fan. I'd much rather put something on my face that is a lot easier to apply but this was actually very easy you pull the first layer of the mesh off and I thought that was going to be quite difficult it wasn't you put it on your face and it does of course have the holes for your eyes and and all that kind of stuff it completely covers your face it actually went out to about here so it was quite a wide mask and then you pull off that second layer of mesh and then, you know, I kind of had to smooth it back in on my face a little bit after I pulled that mesh off. It says to leave on for 20 to 25 minutes. I left it on somewhere in that range. I, I didn't set a timer. I just kind of looked at the clock and went, oh, it's been at least 20 minutes. So then I took it off. It does say like every other sheet mask that you have to rub the excess in after you take the mask off. When I took the mask off, I didn't really have any excess. My skin was a little bit tacky, but I did feel very hydrated. I'm not sure that I really felt brightened, but I've only used it once. So after I've used all three masks, I will update you guys again on how I liked those. The next thing that was in here was this Ofra pressed powder and it is an oil control pressed powder. I've had several products from Ofra before in these boxes and I've always been very pleased with them. This is $39.95 for a full size. Now you do get 10 grams in here, so it is quite a lot of product. I will say that the first time that I used this, I went a little too heavy handed and it lightened up my foundation because it's not a translucent powder, it is a white powder. And you can see if you go heavy with it, it is white. It is white. So I just barely tapped my brush in it and kind of brushed it on my face in the areas where I really need oil control. It's been very, very hot here, so right now that is most of my face, but I'm concentrating on around my nose area and on my chin and on my forehead in my T-zone where I get the oiliest. And it really does help. 
if you use a light hand. If you use, I mean, if you use a heavy hand, it still helps. It just definitely puts a white cast or lightens your foundation. So just something to be aware of. Just go light handed and I think that you will really love it. The next thing that was in here is Cougar by Paula Dune. And it has the cutest box. Come on camera. There we go. Has the cutest box. And this is a mineral face and body shimmer. $16 and uh, this is a full size actually all five products are full size this month so this is just a you know little pot like you would expect mineral stuff to come in with the little holes and this is a really pretty golden shimmer And that is what I have on for my highlight right now. I really like this as a highlight. I did try it as a body shimmer and it just really, for my coloring, it just doesn't work. I think that if you are a darker skin tone than me, then this would be lovely. If you have um, a little bit more, you know, if your skin is fairer than mine, I think that that I don't think that this would work for you as a body shimmer either. I just, I think you have to have the right coloring to use that as a body shimmer, but as a highlight, oh, it's just gorgeous. I did apply this with a fan brush. I've tried it with a couple other brushes, but it does apply best with the fan brush. So I'm definitely happy about that. Then the next product that is in here was an LVX nail polish. I have had an LVX nail polish before, but, and I looked for it, but I didn't find it in all of the uh, mess that is back there. So I know I had one before, but I might have passed it on because I, actually, now that I think about it, I did pass that one on because it was a very orangey color and I didn't personally like it for me, but I did find someone that loved that color and I think she wears it all the time. So one of the things that's interesting about the LVX polishes is they do have that little cap before you take it off. This is in the color Serene, which is, here I'll show you the bottle first. And that is what the color looks like. It's a very periwinkle blue. I thought before I put it on that it was going to be kind of a grayish blue based on the bottle and I was super excited about that. But it is just kind of a periwinkle blue. Definitely very streaky on the first coat, opaque in two. I did put a top coat on it. It's been just a couple of days and I'm already noticing that it is rubbing off a little bit on the edges of my nails, but I haven't found a polish yet that doesn't because I type a lot, I write a lot, I'm constantly using my fingers, I do dishes a lot, I do laundry a lot. So just on the tips of my nails, it always rubs off really no matter what I do, but I don't have any additional chipping and it really hasn't peeled on me. So that is a big thing that I always look for with nail polish is, is does it peel? Is it so thick once you finally get it to an opaqueness that you like that it's, it's just going to flake right off and it's not doing that. So I'm quite liking this color. I think that it's lovely for summer. Uh, that LVX, it is uh, five free and it is $18. It is vegan friendly also. So there you go. It's a happy, socially responsible nail polish. The last thing in here is probably the thing that I was the most excited about when I first opened up the box, and that is this Precise Eyeliner Marker by Girlactic. I have been wanting to try something by Girlactic for a long time. This is supposed to be long-lasting, weightless, water-resistant, not waterproof, smudge-proof, and it's supposed to just be able to come on without pulling or tugging and all that. It is $20. So it's really a standard price for your high-end eyeliners. It is a marker tip, not a felt tip. So it does have some give, but it does draw a very, very nice line. It dries very quickly. It, if you don't let it dry, then it will smudge. Oh, my son is calling me, hold on. 
Okay, so anyway, I was talking about the Galactic liner. I had to stop and take that call from my son. He is staying with his Grammy this week. And so I wanted to say night night to my boys before they went to sleep. So I'm absolutely loving this eyeliner. Um, if you let it dry, it really doesn't smudge. If you try to work with it a little bit and you want to smudge it right after you put it on while it's still wet, you can do that. It is not waterproof. It does come off very easily with my cleaner, so that is a great thing. That was everything that was in this month's BoxyCharm. I'm really happy with this box. It was definitely the best one this month since I wasn't tremendously thrilled with my Ipsy or my Sephora Play. I will link those videos down below if you would like to check those out. Out. otherwise please give this video a thumbs up if you like this format or these types of videos or if you're just here I would really appreciate a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe so you can see next month's boxes and I'll see you next time bye hey buddy are you getting ready to go to bed? Mm -hmm. Hey, Mom, can you act? don't talk about the card, please? It's a surprise. Okay, I won't. Yeah, um, okay. So it was an octopus that was the really funny one? Yeah, it's Hank. Hank? I, I had heard that it was, a, it was supposed to be a stingray, I think, but... No, it wasn't. A there is a stingray in there. He was the teacher, remember, at the beginning. Oh, yeah, but he wasn't really... He wasn't the funny one. Yeah. And Hank did a thing with the eyebrows. Hello. Hello. You turned the phone weird. You're sideways. <laughs> you're laying in bed. Okay, now you're right side up. No, I'm not. Now you're sideways. Now you're right side up. <laughs>